my gosh, this series, he is an absolute red flag. But then again, I'm colorblind. Move aside because Rich Daddy Husband has come to pick up his little boyfriend. Before we get started, I just want to remind our viewers that if you like seeing more Yaoi content and would like to support this channel, please don't forget to smash that like button. Also, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Feel free to message me in my social media at Zealed for Joshi, which I'll be using to interact with viewers about more Yaoi content. If that's something that interests you, feel free to follow me at Zealed for Joshi. Finally, this episode will contain explicit content and a lot of manual spoilers. With that in mind, please proceed with caution. You have been warned. Now, without further ado, let's jump into chapter 41 of Love Jinx. I feel the toxicity of this ship. The boy was obsessed and he's just trying to keep the protagonist as his possession. I sometimes really don't feel the love inside him really sometimes i do doubt he, the reality the yeah the reality of his feelings because sometimes he's giving off this vibe that he's doing all of these as a revenge or trying to make him as his plaything that's why like for quite a while like i kind of like kihon and Young's interaction because i think that their chemistry is pretty good and i always thought that um they would be love interests in this series but then again a part of me is also thankful that he hunt is not a love interest because Wujin would kill him oh boy to be honest though like before Wujin's character appeared in the first season i really thought that ki Han uh, he's gonna be Hegong's uh, love interest. And I was actually kind of shipping their um, enemies turning to friends kind of trope. And, you know, Dojin came along and he's like, my, my, ga my guy, you know. <laughs> um, I don't know how I feel about having a love triangle uh, with these three characters. Wujin is hot and all, but bro, my gosh, like, he is really possessive. Like, a part of me is telling myself that no one really needs a boyfriend to be as possessive like that. I know, like, his looks are definitely A++, but, you know, his, his character is really, really crap, and the only way that that the whole Woojin and Haegyung relationship will work out is if Woojin would get a lot of character development in this series. Yeah, like a little bit of it was cute at first, but he is turning into a freaking psycho this past couple of chapters. Like a total toxic guy, a lot of red flags, super obsessive, but... I don't know, like, a lot of us are still very weak for Woojin, like, I, I, I wish, like, I can look away from Woojin and just consider Ki Han and Hegyeong as the main love interest in this story, but, you know, this two clashing is gonna be really interesting, because now, now that it looks like Hegyeong and Ki Han has made up, you know, <laughs> it, it, it's it's making me worry because um, I want to tell Tikihan that he better stay away from Hegyong because man, Mujin is crazy as hell. Like, if he if Kihan wants to live longer and not be burnt like Mujin's grandfather, man, you better distance yourself from. Hey Gang, like run for your life. <laughs> As for uh, also, I just wanted to point out, okay, um, the art 
of the cover of Love Jink has Woojin on it. But, you know, the title is Love Jinx, and it's about a, a kiss curse. But then again, on the first chapter, didn't he young kiss Kihan? So, wouldn't uh, Kihan also have the jinx? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, Woojin with his new haircut, I think it's a new haircut, it looks shorter in this chapter. Um, um, but man, like his entrance in this chapter is sort of, I mean, it's really creepy. Like, those big hands are so scary. And I kind of want to tell Hegyang, like, man, I'm warning you, don't interact with so many guys because you're not ready to see their corpse, right? <laughs> like, you already have Wujin, so leave Kihan alone if you want Kihan to stay alive. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to follow my social media to be teased about some of the boys' love that I'm interested in. Feel free to leave me a message and converse with me in my Discord channel. I'd love to hear back from you. And please consider supporting the show by donating as little as 99 cents through www.zealedfujoshi.xyz. Also, don't forget to support the author. All the manual details can be found in the description below. Again, thank you so much and hope to see you next time.